So what do you think, Lydia? <clears throat> I think we should head to Solitude. There's treasure hunting in Solitude. There's a Bard's College, which means they have lots of books. Maybe some mage stuff, because let's be honest. Just come here. Come here for a second, Lydia. Just come here. Look at this shithole. The hell is that? No. Look at this shithole. It's a shithole. Let's not be here. Oh. Carriage man. Carriage is the safest way to travel. I'm going a long way to solitude. I'm not going to walk there. That's way too far. Where do you want to go? Uh, I just said no, I'm going to go to solitude. Uh, I think it's in here. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? I just want to go straight through. The solitude. Climb and back, and we'll be off. All right, Lydia, come on. Let's go. Skeletons, First come on. To solitude? Uh, yes, Beautiful actually. City, capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already knew that. What the hell? Why is it always fighting as soon as they show up somewhere? Come on, let's just go. More storm cloak and imperial nonsense. Keep an eye out for storm cloak spies. Oh, it's dark. Do I have any torches? I should use torches. People don't use enough torches lately. We need torches. Oh, excuse You're me. New. I'm new too. I think we could be friends. I don't think so. I have no business with you. If you've come Leave to solitude me. to join the league, yeah. speak to Rick. What? If not, just keep your nose clean while you're here. All right, then. Uh, you're not a merchant. Any of you guys merchants? Speak. Go Need some boss. I have more important things on my mind right now. <sighs> what is it now? What a boring conversation. Oh, shut up. <clears throat> Let's go. They can't hurt Uncle Rog here. Tell them he didn't do it. Huh? Vision. Bar, you need to go home. What's going on go here? Home and stay there until your mother comes. Lock the city Traitor. gate. Get on with it! You betrayed us. Your uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Atlon. You're all heart, Vivian. Traitor! Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric. You betrayed the people of Solitude. So all of this is your fault by letting him go. There was no murder. Ulfric Almost got my head chopped off, you son of a bitch. The High King in fair combat. Fair, there's no such way. thing. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Well, I ain't a goddamn Nord. Ooh. Off with his head. Very well, Rogvir. Bow your head. Do it. Do it now. Roll that head. I go to Sovereign God. How did he finish that sentence with his head chopped off? Can I have the bones? Can I, can I, can I reach those? Perhaps the head? Can I keep the head? Some you know, you are. just cuz. Good riddance I to bad I rubbish, I say. More. You know, it's late. It's very late. Died well. it's, it's very late. We should probably get some rest, right? We have an inn right here. It's like 4 a.m. Yes? Excuse me. Excuse me. Hmm. Need something? Uh, yeah, I need a room. You're no help. Uh, I inkeep need something. Inkeep. You want something? You're a yeah. shady individual. Need I... something? Yes, I need a room. Yes. All oh, you yeah. refugees, get a job. God. Get him out. Get. Huh? Oh, sorry. Be gone. Breton. I'm getting on the first boat out of this accursed province. 
Uh, why, why, why are you gonna leave? I don't know about you, but I've got to get as far away from Skyrim as possible. Uh, oh, okay. Why? It was a cabin somewhere on the north bank of a white, near Riverwood. A kind old lady was living there. Oh, yeah, I met her. So I thought. Yeah, yeah. She let me stay the night, but told me not to go into the cellar. Naturally, I got curious. <sighs> yeah, so did I. What did you find in the cellar? There was all sorts of oddities in there. I think she was a witch or a necromancer or something. Definitely, definitely one in of those. Case, I got out of that cellar and never stopped running. Really? Why escape? There are other means to survive. I know. I considered going to a face sculptor, but she refused to work with me. You can try her if you want. She lives in some hole in the ground over in Markarth. Why would I care? Safe I, by the way, I killed that bitch. Is there... Is there an innkeep? How am I supposed to get a room at 4.30 in the goddamn morning? Innkeep? Welcome to the Winking Skeever. Ah. Oh my god, the options, the options. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right, this Wait, it said 10 gold and he charged me 25. What the hell kind of crap is... What kind of crap is that, sir? Did you just overcharge me for my room? By a lot? Hmm? Hmm? I have a couple of buddies here that, uh, take that money back real quick. I'll swallow your soul. I'll do it. I'll move it right out of you. To get one of these boneheads. <laughs> get it, bonehead. I cracked myself up. Is this my room? It better be a nice room. Oh, it's actually not too bad. All right, everybody in. Everybody get in. Let but yeah. Know if there's anything else you need. Yeah, I need you to get out. Lydia. Get in. Lydia, come on. Get in here. Lydia. Damn it, Lydia. Get out. Get out. Lydia. Get, uh, fine, stay out there. I don't care. I need sleep. Kind of weird you're just staring at me like that. Let's get six hours. I'm almost out of food, aren't I? All right, let's go grab some water. I'll grab a dragon steak. I'm going through this dragon steak like mad. Maybe I should have kept... Oh my God, look at the books. Okay, one moment. I'm going to read some books. All the books have been read. Come on, Lydia. Oh my god, there's more books. We good now? All right, let's go. Excuse me. Fletching suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious, but a well-made arrow strikes forth like the fury of a god. I wouldn't know. Feel free to make requests. There's Who nothing like a good song to lift the spirit in trouble. Ah, times. a bard. See? Bard. Uh, what's the word around town? Generally, if you want rumors, you should talk to Corpulus. That said, I did see a visitor pass through on his way to the Blue Palace. Really? What's the... Okay. Uh, no, does being a bard pay well? Oh, no. But being surrounded by good music, good drink, and good friends is all I've ever asked for. You know, you you're right. You staying the night. Corpulus keeps a clean inn. I should perform. I can do that, right? I have a performance thing, right? I will perform! how good I am they love it they love it
Pop more. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, excuse me. You're standing in. Are you trying to interrupt my performance? There you go. There you go. Have a drink. Oh. Ooh, speech went up and 26 bucks. Hell yeah. Keep walking, stranger. Okay, 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 okay. Hello, yes. I'm the Dean of History and scribe work when I can find some quiet time. Sure, corpulous. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Um, thank you. Uh, any news floating around? Here, take a look at this. All right, I, I will look at that. Uh, the bird's eye. Okay. Uh, why do you call the Winking well, Skeever? Well, as it turns out, I had a pet Skeever when I was a boy, and he used to wink. You, you you kept the skeever as a pet. They were smaller back then. Heard any rumors lately? People say there's a man wandering the streets near the Blue Palace. He seems distressed, but he's not making any sense. Right, stay away from the crazy guy. Uh, any other rumors? Barneus Junius stopped by here on his way to court. He was worried about something. I'm sure Falk Firebeard could tell you what. Oh, it must be the guy the other person mentioned. Yes, yes. Oh, can I get a refill of water? Of course. Thank you. Remember the winking skeever next I, time your foot's I, I shall remember that you overcharged me for my room. I remember that. I'm putting that on Yelp. Fine. What? What? Need yeah. something? No, I don't. Out of my way. Quit talking to me. All right, come. Come, my patsies. Hello, Kajit. What's over here? Radiant raiment. What is this? Come in and shut the door. Okay. Hello. What do you got? Hello. Uh, oh, let me just drop everything to help you. I don't mind, really. Perfect. Perfect. What do you got for sale? Take a look. You got clothing. None of it particularly good. Yeah, you want to buy any of my crap? Ooh, you'll buy these for three? Oh, piss off. I'm done talking to you already. One thing everyone can Finally me. I will snap your electric chicken bone. I can't talk now. I didn't want to talk. Look, I don't really how many know you. Times you, ask. you might want to rethink that. You looking for something or what? I don't know. You talked to me. Thanks for wasting my time. You're welcome. I got the people here are so fucking rude. Feel free to look around. We have a fine selection of herbs here at oh. Angela's Aromatics. Really? You're a traveler, correct? Yes. Yes. Have you been to White Run? Uh, maybe. Uh, uh, sure. Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. It's not that big a deal. My daughter Fura was you take a carriage. White Run after she joined the Imperial Army. Okay. I was hoping you might have met her. I uh, haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Name doesn't ring a bell. No, 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 no. Never heard of her. Ah. Uh, well, I guess it was unlikely. I'm sorry to waste your time. That's perfectly fine. Can I see what you got for sale? Take a look. I will. What do you got? Should buy some healing potions. A hundred and sixty. I make my own for that much. Can I actually make my own? I don't know. Can I make my own? Do I have Do I have ingredients? Time you need herbs and potions. Do you have a a, a thing in Bob around here somewhere? There's been rumors of Talos worshippers leaving notes at the Temple of the Divines. I've never seen one myself, though. Oh, okay. Sure. Ah, there we go. There's a thing. Oh, what's this? 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can pray, right? I can pray. And then read the book. And I got a bunch of alchemy. I, I missed whatever that... Why am I... There we go. Use the alchemy lab. I can make poisons and such. But no health stuff, right? Maybe I, maybe I haven't discovered everything yet. Take a look. Oh, see, I don't get blister wart. I have wheat, because I know blister wart and wheat. I don't have any wheat. Damage health. Just fire. Fire salts. No. I didn't think something called a rot would, would do it. Nightshade's not going to do it. What about this Nordic barnacle? Damage magic. Uh, this, this, this bug. I just ate a bug. Purple mountain flower? No. This rare moon sugar. Oh, how about this red mountain flower? No. Saber clack? No. The saber cat? No. Scaly wood? No. Uh, small antlers? No. Snowberries? No. Vampire dust? No. Okay. Well, ow. <clears throat> thank, thank you. So, thank, thank you. I'm gonna vomit. I am gonna actually puke. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, thank you. Oh, hey, old lady. It's good to see a fresh face. You wouldn't have happened to come from White Run, would you? No. No, I did not. What have you got for sale? Ah, so you're an alchemist then? Maybe. Not really. I don't know. Do you have, I'm looking for some wheat. I'm looking for some wheat. Do you have wheat? You do have wheat. Uh, I'm not going to buy a whole bunch of your crap, though. Just your mm -hmm. wheat. I can make a couple of potions. All right, so blister wart and wheat. Yeah, we're going to make it. All right, we made it. We got it. We got it. Uh-huh. We make our own stuff over here. We're self-sufficient. Get me out of this place. You said has such a calm and soothing... Yeah, I, I beat her out in the uh, bard challenge over there at the uh, Winking Skeever. Oh, Bits and Pieces. This will be a place, right? Welcome to Bits and Pieces. I'm sure you'll find what you need here. Why did I just glow? Oh, books. Huh? I'm just browsing your books. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Just browsing what you got. Oh, Dancing Fire Volume 3. Oh, I haven't read that one yet. I just did. Uh... Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Can I just peruse your, your, your books real quick? Ooh, Nightingale's Factor Fiction. You can, you can get down with some of that. Oh, uh-oh. She's the oldest Daedra, known as a Mistress of Mysteries, the Unfathomable, and Lady Luck. Follower, pray to remove bounties for lesser crimes. Penance, pickpocket mysterious coin purses. Pick lock successfully. Pray only at night, preferably in darkness. Those skills and sneak are most deserving. That sounds nothing like me. Um, this, The Wolf Queen, Volume 2. Wolf Queen, Volume 3. Where's Volume 1? Killing before you're killed. It's kind of obvious that's what you would want to do. Biography of Benezia. Volumes 1 and 2. And three? And three? It's a three-volume set. Oh, my God. That is so cool. A three-volume set. I need to drink something. There we go. Hey. Who's actually... Something? Is it you? Do you work you here? Lost. I don't know. Do you work here? Doesn't seem like a good oh, attitude. If you're looking for a good attitude, go see the bards. They'll fake it for you, if nothing else. 
If you're looking for truth instead, see Noster. He's a good example of what life has to offer. And if you're just looking to feel good, go get some spiced wine from Yvette. But whatever you do, just leave me alone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not a problem, bitch. Do you work here? Aaron said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. It was. What you got for sale? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Safe house, follower, furniture receipt. What the hell? Those are expensive. Ooh. Uh, same shit, different day. I don't think I've really gotten anything since last time I checked. Okay, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Yeah, J Dragon for 17 grand. Okay, no. No, 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 no. Let's check out. Uh, okay, you got nothing there. Nothing there. Food. I could probably use some food. Let's grab a. Let's grab a couple of potatoes. That should be good there. What do you have for? Ooh, you've got the wheat. That's wheat. I'll take some wheat. And nothing else I really want. Nothing there. Manual of spellcraft. Bunch of random stuff. Really is a bunch of bits and pieces, and pieces isn't it? I was playing a thief. I could rob this place. All right, let's continue on. Uh, who are you? Yes. Yes. What do you want? Can't you see, I'm busy dying. Oh my God! Everyone is a bitch. Everyone dies. Not everyone is so insufferable about it. Not everyone can be bored to death. But I bet the ones that are were talking to you. What's your problem? My problem is I've lost all my land, you insensitive dolt. Not just my land. My land, my gold, and my peasants. I was stripped of it. By the only thing that could affect someone of my eminence. I lost it to Dragonfire. Helgen. I was there. Okay, good luck with that. I was, so was I. What's your point? Somehow, I doubt that. One with your considerable waistline would have proved too tempting a morsel for a dragon to ignore. Um... I'm not sure if this is relevant, and you seem to be projecting. How absurd. My personal chef saw to it that I ate only the healthiest meals, and my servants made sure to compliment me on the result. Were my servants lying to me all this time? Probably. If they were smart, they were. But people of low birth are all twaddling nitwits. Take you, for example. Oh, I don't hold it against you. Were I to choose you, my name alone would be enough to elevate our progeny beyond your obvious shortcomings. What? Truth be told, I have suffered worse in the name of making my fortune. For I wonder if you are spoken for. Which brings us back to my original point. I am in need of a suitable partner. One who can finance the lifestyle I have become accustomed to. <gasps> oh. Really? Because, for all intents and purposes, I'd rather be dead than poor. And every second I am the latter brings me closer to the former. You're a gold digger. Gotcha. So, as the Nords are fond to do, I seek marriage without courtship. Time is short, and every day is worth two tomorrows. King Torrid's death has turned the whole town on its head. I couldn't have lost much. And who do you think fed the soldiers and reared their mounts? Ashwood Farm had a contract with the Empire. 
and they paid handsomely. With no Jarl, there were no taxes, and with a military garrison situated in the city, our homes were guarded tighter than the Blue Palace itself. Helgen was indeed a military outpost, and that is precisely what made it profitable. If you're interested, traveler. Uh... How, how did you make your fortune? I inherited it. And by that, I mean I earned every septum. My mother was a hard woman, and she treated her servants, her farmhands, and her children like hardened criminals. What do you mean by that? I remember we had an orc servant, bastard born. And every time my mother got drunk, she made it a point to remind him. She gave the poor sod a serving of knuckle pie for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Three square meals a day. Right square in the jaw. I don't have to imagine how much they hurt. I know the taste of it all too well. You like hearing the sound of your own voice, don't you? Can't imagine why anyone would want to punch you. Yes. Only the beatings weren't enough. Bruises heal. But the words stick you like a dagger. You've been talking so long, the weather has changed. One day I asked a servant why he puts up with it. And he told me, same reason you do. For the gold. I learned a valuable lesson that day. The one with the gold makes the rules. Uh -huh. Those without it are prisoners. Uh -huh. Those with it can forever live free. Sure, I got money. Uh, no. Untrue. No, I don't care. Uh, I don't want to uh, do this I one. I certainly am not. The lessons I learned were not gifts, but things that I paid an overwhelming price for. I'm sure you're exaggerating. You are still wealthy and... To an extent, hampered. People always talk about the horrors of discrimination, but they seem to revel in it when it affects the rich. While it's true that when my mother died, I was afforded every luxury, but they seem to revel in it when it affects the rich. Huh? You know you could afford a septum or two. I guess you're going to go with many paid a stiff price at Helgen, yet you still have your life. And what should I do with it? Work the fields like some common... Hiridin. Yes. I know my worth. And for one with my stock, there are only two sensible ways to make a fortune. By marriage or by blood. Well, we could go bang. And unless some wealthy uncle shows up with gold spilling out of his pockets, the only viable alternative is marriage. Uh... It'll be difficult for someone like you to find a spouse. What's that supposed to mean? Someone like me? You're a bitch? You mean someone who is young, highborn, and educated? I am affable. I am sweet. No, you're not. I am the most devastating beauty Skyrim has witnessed in five millennia. No, you're not. And you are evidently blind. You should see me when you uh, stranger. Let's flip it on her. Let's flip it on her. Lady Ashford, the confidence in your beauty is well deserved. Do you think yourself a poet for stating the obvious? Okay, it didn't even do anything. If you fancy me, show your favor with gifts, not words. Uh, no. Uh, no. Good. Fine. Be gone. Uh, now it's all foggy. The market? Uh, these are small markets. Lady Atia says my voice is second only to hers, but she's selling me short. So you tall. You wouldn't have a few minutes to run down to the docks, would you? Um, why? What do you need from the docks? Well, I've got a shipment of spices the East Empire Company is holding up. 
I need someone to convince them to release it. You want me to con convince them? Yeah, yeah, no problem. No problem. Right. Get back to me when you're done, and I'll give you something for your time. Sweet. I got out there. <coughs> Luigi and Guido right here to go take care of them and you know, convince them. Few can resist my charms. Even few. You look like you could do with a ripe apple. Or a tomato, cabbage, or leek. Uh, you just got food? I, I don't really need food. When you figure out how to spend money. You... Get your fresh fruit Jesus coat. Christ, this town. <laughs> this town is something else. Collect the petty soul gems. Uh... The rift in. Silver potion to the sawmill. Okay, so now that I know pretty much what's next, if I go somewhere else, I can check the board again. I've seen what's on there. You know, you're not going to get much of an audience here. Hello. Yeah, a bunch of pings are this way. We got a ping here. The Bard's College. I'm not really a bard. So I'm, I'm at the bard type. The bard's College. I'm the headmaster here. How may I help you? Um, I don't. I don't know. Do I want to apply? Sure, why not? Always a pleasure to meet a prospective bard. Sure. You should be aware that many apply, but we accept very few people. Great thing is, is I don't care if I when pass. Possible. We ask applicants to perform tasks the college needs completed. In this case, I do have a task befitting an aspiring Let me guess. Bard. Sweep the floor. Elisif has forbidden the burning of King Olaf, a festival put on by the Bard's College. We need to change her mind. To convince her, I want to read King Olaf's verse, a part of the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Unfortunately, the verse was lost long ago. And how do you know this is such a great poem? Yes, according to Giraud, our history's keeper, the portion of the Edda dealing with King Olaf might still exist in Dead Man's Respite. I need you to retrieve the poem. Isn't that the name of a bar? Uh... I wish you luck in finding So I come in here to talk to people and I just get sent another... Ooh. Fildy. What oh. Did the Aldmeri Dominion invade the Empire? Oh. Late 171. I'll be a minute. Good Ildi, soak in the lore. Hey, your, that isn't yours. What happened during the I didn't I didn't mean to do that. Um Hey, hands off. Sorry, sorry about that. Explosion? I thought it was a book. I was, I was going what too fast. Red then erupts. Try to be precise, you Remember, being a bard isn't just about music. <clears throat> ooh, ooh, a skill book. I'm Dean of Luke. A good the story is nine parts truth. I don't give part private fiction. lessons. Oh, it's a crafting manual. It seems like most of these are nine parts fiction. Can we really just make things up? It doesn't seem right. Uh, what am I doing? Read I'm taking it. You will see there are ways to stay true to the essence, Ildi. I have no it's idea what this is even doing. Up. I don't understand this part. Is it giving me an effect of some kind? Oh, the skeletons last for like eight hours or so? At 50% my level. So they're not great. Uh, okay, got a blessing there. Prayer. When you're out of combat, pray just... Okay, no. Huh. Okay. Sure, I, I'm done with doing that. I wish only to graduate. There are so many and books in this game. My drums will lead our troops to victory. Oh, got my speech up.
Youngest so many books. Art at the Bard's College at your service. Find Red Eagle Sword. Excuse me, I need to get down here. Bottom shelf, please. That book there. That book. Viarmo for instruction on drum. But it's far too reserved for my taste. Okay. Yes. Watch what you're doing. I think I. I got all those. Oh my God! There's more there. And over here. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. That's all I can take. How the hell do I get out of here? I just, I can't take, oh, the, you know, I'm gonna, there's probably a whole bunch of skill books in that place. Get in my way. I need to eat. Potato. You're pardoned, I guess. There's a ping up here. The Dragonborn Gallery. This is what I was saving all that crap for. Hello, good sir. Well, first I'm going to take this. Okay, what do you want? Hello. I'm sorry, can I help you? Yes. The museum is currently closed until further notice. Is it though? Saw this flyer about you needing treasure hunters. Oh, yes, my advertisement. I am looking still, but I do hope you are better than the others I have hired as of late. I have a list of items that I would very much like to have for the museum. If you can recover them, I'll pay you handsomely for them. If you manage to bring them all back here, we could even discuss some other plans I have in mind. <sighs> oh, my God. Excellent. Well, first and foremost, I'd like to get my hands on one of the Sixth House Bellhammers of the House of Dagoth. They have become increasingly rare. One apparently was stolen recently by some bandits, apparently held up in Broken Helm Hall. Of course, bandits. Another item was stolen from a local collector by the Silent Moon Bandits. The item is known as Denstagmus Ring. More bandits! It's likely still in the hideout west of Whiterun, if they haven't fenced it yet, that is. And lastly, a small shipment of Arkaviri relics is on its way across Skyrim, bound for Markarth. Amongst the items were some jade carvings. The caravan, however, was attacked by Forsworn, and it's likely they may be in possession of some of the relics. Hey, at least it's not bandits. Oh, wait, they're Mind just like can, bandits. And I'll pay you well for it. All right, whatever. So much for that. All right, let's go. And then I uh, should have the blue palace. Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. 